Hello and welcome to episode 5 of My Crypto World. Today I want to talk about a couple of topics. I may get off into something else because sometimes I do. But uh, today I want to talk about in the realm of Bigfoot. In the realm of Bigfoot there is a uh, if you mention the word cloaking or uh, portals and things like that when it comes to Bigfoot. And I know it's kind of a popular subject right now. Probably has been for a while, but uh, let's start with cloaking. Uh, for my, I think cloaking is just a bad term. I think it kind of kind of puts people off. To start with uh, uh, cloaking, basically, uh, in a nutshell, is the ability uh, for something to go invisible either either uh, by something they have they can produce on their own or with a device if you was going to cloak say a, a car or something like that you would have to have a device that would cloak it and you, you know, hide it that way or something but when it comes to Bigfoot supposedly according to many people Bigfoot has the ability to go invisible at will uh, I know a lot. Of, I know a lot of good people who uh, who I like, and uh, who do research and things, and and they kind of lend to that too. That Bigfoot can go invisible at will. I've been doing this for a long time, for like oh well over twenty years. Been doing it real hard for the last five six years. I've been around Bigfoot many times. I've never seen them go invisible. Uh, I really doubt they, that they can. Uh, and I'm not trying to start an argument with anybody. It's my friends that says they can, but I've not. I've not seen it, and I'm not. Uh, uh, I've seen some weird things out of Bigfoot as far as uh, them being real quiet and stealthy, and and maybe that's what happens. They they're they're real quiet. Or they can hide very well. Maybe that is why people say, "Well, it's went invisible." Because I can't see it. It's cloaking, which I hate the term cloaking. I don't like it. But uh, I've been doing it a long time, and I've not seen any Bigfoot go invisible or anything like that. Uh, they are very quiet. I know I've, I've been real close to Bigfoot. I don't know. I don't know. Probably 30, 40 feet, maybe, uh, in the woods. And uh, knew it was there, couldn't see it, but I didn't have no, uh, I didn't think it was cloaking, I just thought it was standing real still or, or hunched down or, or behind something. And uh, I can give you a good example of of how easy it is kind of to hide on somebody or, or something. Uh, back about, well, last year, I was ginsenging. No, maybe it was year before last. Anyways, I was ginsenging, and uh, I was back in the middle of nowhere by myself. And, uh, well, there were some people below me, and they was, uh, they was a long way from me. Uh, they was down there making uh, timbers for, like, coal mines, where, you know, we put underground stuff. Well, they had a bunch of dogs. The dogs came... I know the people and I know the dog. Dogs with ass. And one dog is big. Uh, and well, the dog started coming through her barking and I know they was coming to me. I didn't have a gun. All I had was my uh was my thing I dig the ginseng with. Well, it was kind of in a flat area. I mean it wasn't long, like no big trees or anything like that. So the dogs are coming out. I got a little bit scared. I thought, well, if this, you know, this big dog tries to attack me, it's gonna be hard to get off of me. So, uh, so I'm standing there, uh, easing down, you know, because the dogs are coming. Well, they get real close on me. I'm even like 10 or 15 feet, and just a little bit before they got there, I just stood real still, didn't move, just stood there. And uh, the dogs came within 10 or 15 feet of me, and nothing blocking their view. But where I was standing there motionless, they could—they couldn't even see me. 
they was looking all over the place, but where I was standing real still, they couldn't even see me. But uh, then I spoke because the, the smaller dogs, I wasn't too worried about them, but I spoke to the to the smaller dogs and then to the big dog and I called him by name. I know his name. Uh, I mean, you're talking about a dog that's probably 200 pounds. And he's got a head, a big old giant head on him. But, uh, but so once I talked to the dogs I, and, and I started moving, uh, they could see me and stuff, but I eased on down the mountain to where the owners were, so I didn't want, you know, they didn't attack me or anything. But, but what's odd is that I was standing there motionless, you know, just standing very still, and they was right on top of me, couldn't see me. So I think when it comes to cloaking of Bigfoot, that's probably some, something that's happened with with it, and make, make people think that it's cloaking or it's invisible. Because I know I wasn't invisible that day, but you would have thought I was because the dog was 10, 15 feet right next to me, two or three of them, couldn't even see me. And uh, but as, when it comes to Bigfoot, I think that's what happens to hit sometimes. They, the Bigfoot stands real still, or crouches down and stands real still, and people think it's invisible and it's cloaking. But uh, you know, I've never seen anything. I've never seen Bigfoot cloak or anything like that. But another thing, another hot topic, I guess, is uh, is portals. Uh, I've never seen no Bigfoot go into any portals or. I've never seen no portals open up. I've seen Bigfoot before, and I I don't know where people get all these claims at and stuff like that. I mean, I've never seen it, and I know there's some uh, scientific evidence that there could possibly be uh, kind of like a small black hole and stuff in areas across the United States where there could possibly be portals and stuff. But I don't know about all that neither. I've never seen any of it. But if you'll notice that people who make these real wild claims with portals and invisible and stuff going in and out of them and all that, they get on the radio, they get on the TV, they're the hot topic on all the internet forums and all that stuff. So I don't know. I, I don't know. I just, I've never seen it. I've never seen no cloaking other than in a movie or something like that. You know, but I've never seen no Bigfoot in real life cloak. I've never seen a Bigfoot go through a portal. I very much doubt any of that's real. Uh, not saying that something's not happening. Something could be happening that makes them automatically go to that. Uh, well, I can't see the Bigfoot. I just seen it, you know, a few seconds ago. Where did it go? I can't find it. It's disappeared. Well, really, maybe it didn't. It just humped up there on the ground somewhere, and you don't you don't see it. You walk by past it or anything. In portals, I don't know. I've not seen no portals. I've been out different times, night, day, morning, midday. Been around Bigfoot. I've not seen no portals or anything I thought would be a portal. But I don't know. I know there's some well respected people who, even that I respect, I think are good researchers that have, that have uh, made claims of portals and. Bigfoot going invisible and all that kind of stuff, but that's just something I won't. I won't be able to. Uh, I don't think I'll ever be able to believe it until I see it. That's just one of those things. That's because that's that's going into something different for me. Uh, then another thing they talk about too is mind speak and uh, telepathy. Bam, mind speak, <laughs> telepathy. I can't say it. Sorry. Anyway. ESP or whatever and so the mind speak uh, I've never experienced mind speak I've been around Bigfoot several times well more than that I don't know how many times exactly but I've been around them numerous times I'll put it that way I've never had no mind speak I've never had them visit me in a dream or or nothing like that I don't know to me none of that stuff seems feasible to me but if it happens to me I don't you know I would tell it, I suppose, but but if you notice, people who make all those wild claims, uh, they're the one that gets on TV, gets on the podcast, uh, they're talking about them on the forums and on Facebook and all that, and uh, people who do research and just make normal uh, evaluations. Uh, you know, we found a track, we found sticks, or we found 
uh, you know, stick structure, or we found broken branches, or we found possible hair, or something like that. Nah, they don't care about that. Uh, I got a picture; it's blurry, but I got a picture of one. Or nah, you don't get you won't get much press on that. But you'll get if you say uh, one spoke to me and told me to go buy a brand new car. Uh, people is all over that, and you're on. Well, what, what else did they tell you? So I don't know. It just seemed like a bunch of hogwash to me. But. Even with that said, the, the people who are making the claims, I respect them. Uh, I like them, but I can like you and respect you and still not maybe believe everything you tell me. So, I don't know. Mind speak. Cloaking. And uh, portals. Portals. Just not my thing. Okay, I guess that's all I got for today. So, uh, thanks for watching My Crypto World. I hope you're enjoying these. And uh, As time goes on, I'll probably, probably get into more serious conversation, I guess. Which, I guess, today was kind of a little bit serious, I guess. Serious. Uh, you mean the radio? No. Serious. Seriously, man. Come on, man. Would you quit acting stupid? We're trying to do a show here. Okay, so we're trying to do a show here. Mm. Alright then. Uh, thanks for watching.